uh, what brings you out tonight? Well, you know, I'm a fellow member of the 3D International Society. I was honored to receive a Lumiere Award like this in 2013. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And now I see how this has evolved to a point where you have all these technologies converging into a new way to tell a story, you know, a 3D storytelling and a virtual reality interactive storytelling, which is amazing for everybody to enjoy. And I think that the advances that have been done in Hollywood with many companies and many productions uh, and as a voting member also, I, can, I got to see pretty much all the different uh, productions and it's amazing what we can do with the latest technology on VR. Where do you envision virtual reality setting in the, the film festivals and that whole genre of that new category? Well, um, the way I envision it is this, uh, it's a new way to tell a story. We have been going to the movies for many, many years and we've been watching TV for many years. But the fact that we have tools now that bring uh, the capability to be immersed, fully immersed into an environment that allows you to interact and feel like you're standing somewhere else in, a, in, you know, in an interactive, immersive way, it's amazing. It's a new way to tell a story. And, and many things need to be redesigned. Now, we, we have not new directors that need to learn how to create productions on VR, but they, once, once they grasp the production method and the workflow, the results are amazing. You can you can bring any person to any part of the world and make like you know traveling back in time, traveling in places like quantum jumps, and then that's precisely one of our projects, the quantum jump project, and and we're doing that. Quantum too. jumps like different dimensions, or how? What yes. Is that? Uh, well, what happens is that uh, picture this: we can create uh, content today. All right, it's so immersive and it's so real, lifelike that in a hundred years you will be able to see that same content again. It's, it's going to be like you're here and it can be in any place in the world as well therefore you're traveling effectively in time and space it's a quantum jump it's a quantum thing so that sounds amazing by the way <laughs> my question Thanks. to that is uh, when this becomes really popular and you're gonna start seeing more of this virtual reality a my question is when and then B the second part of that question is is virtual reality going to reach a point where you're not going to need all the equipment, all the glasses, all okay. the, you know, how is very that going to work? Uh, very good question. Um, one of the things that I did for 3D, the, the, the 3D society and the 3D industry was the, the codec that encodes and compresses and decompresses the um, images on three-dimensional Blu-ray discs. But uh, we had many challenges and the same challenge that we pose there now are brought to VR, VR and virtual reality. You need to create new cameras like this, the John VR camera. Uh, amazing this we're looking at the 360 camera 360. that's next to us it's exactly. really really very so cool. you need new technology new ways to acquire the information new ways to deploy the new ways to visualize it there are many challenges technically speaking but there everything is feasible everything can be done today with the tools and the technology the way we have evolved so far so nothing stops us from actually bringing that experience of course at the beginning like any other technology is going to be costly a little bit yes the cameras are expensive yes some equipment is going to be expensive but over time this is going to go down on time on the on the price and everybody will be able to enjoy VR at any place any, anywhere in the world at any time now um, the, about the, 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 the fact that you can have VR without glasses or without all this technology it's gonna be complicated um, you always need a visualization system to get immersed and the less invasive that it becomes or the lighter that it becomes is gonna be the better uh, we can reduce the size we can uh, you know reduce the footprint but still there's gonna be always challenges to reduce that to the maximum level in the future if you if we're gonna we're gonna have a shift there on the light fields right now we have a different type of imaging for VR but if we sh if we shift to light fields uh, we can acquire information a, a great amount of information on the 360 environment and deploy that anywhere and then to visualize that 360 content uh, with a very small footprint on light fields you will also require a different type of displays that make you feel pretty much like a holographic Im Im image and uh, that's probably gonna be a glasses like device uh, there are many uh, companies all lanes magic leap and meta and many others that are offering some kind of implementation of augmented reality, uh, magic leap with the, with the life fields. But at the end of the day, it's going to be progressing to the point probably where everybody will be able to be anywhere, no matter where they are. So what do you think about Apple coming out with their new platform? It seems like they're going to be a big supporter of virtual reality. Uh, where do you envision, do you envision them maybe taking the lead in this category or? 
Well, I, I think that uh, Apple is going to be probably more focused on AR with some hints of VR. But they have been acquiring a lot of... Augmented companies. reality. Augmented reality, correct. Augmented. Augmented, yes. So uh, they have been acquiring a lot of companies uh, that are related to augmented reality for gesture recognition, for face recognition, for uh, gesture uh, mimicking yeah. and all that. Even uh, like a Snapchat filter. A Snapchat th assumes, applications yeah. that they take yeah. a three-dimensional mapping out of uh, the environments and the reality. The new iPhone is very likely going to come with some features for 3D stereoscopic or wow. 3D environments and uh, they are going to push hard on AR. The advantages of pushing digital information to your real life operation where you didn't have the information are very valuable. You can take a lot of decisions. So it's a very useful tool. Um, I like VR because you can just like, you know, go away anywhere and the AR is good and it's useful. So I think there's going to be a mix of it. So where do you see the next like platform? launching its VR, do you see that it's going to be something that we're going to be able to turn on our web browser like Hulu, log into a platform and, and yes, be able to enjoy exactly. VR just like the other Exactly. Sort of we're actually working on that. We have a uh, platform that is called the Alter Space. And the Alter Space is a place where you can pour content of virtual reality, environments, experiences, and then you can enjoy them on any device, on any platform, of any format. It doesn't matter where you are, it's, already, it's, it's all over the place. It's, uh, ubiquitous and it's agnostic. So that platform allows us to have many brands of, of devices, all them put, to, put together so you can enjoy any kind of level of VR and that's, that's the platform. I don't agree.